to have actually seen that. Um, what's it like sitting in the theatre and uh, seeing it on the screen? Uh, terrifying. You're the first people to see the rushes and the actual quality of the picture. I apologise, but um, we're still in post-production, so bear with us. Uh, we're hoping the film will be released in about March time, March or April time uh, next year. And you can all do a big photo by buying a copy, because this is a UK film. It's not been funded by any of the film uh, funding agencies. And any filmmakers out there? Hands up. <laughs> okay, <laughs> at least three, four or five people. Um, it's a big passion of mine to say that um, if you hang around for, for money in the movies these days, you won't get it. So uh, have the confidence, those three or four people, to go out and make your own movies and don't wait for the money. <laughs> Big round of applause. Yeah. Don't give up, keep going. <laughs> um, you talk about the money there, and from the rushes that we saw there, it obviously did turn out to be a much bigger project than you'd initially oh, expected. Um, but it really looks like quite... <coughs> it, it's very impressive what we see on screen. It doesn't look like a very low-budget production. It's a, it's a no-budget production. Um, this was self-financed. A lot of people in my uh, crew raised over here, my zombie wrangler, Deferred payments are, a, are a, a, a part and parcel these days of making a film. We made this for next to nothing, and, uh, but it's very cinematic, and hopefully you enjoy it. That's what it's there for in the day. It's not a, a BAFTA winning entry. It's uh, some fun, and it's a good film. So please buy it. Have I said that once before? Right? Yeah, buy it. Yep. Please buy it. Please buy it. <laughs> and for friends and family as well at Christmas. <laughs> Pre-orders are taken now. Fantastic. Okay. Um, does anyone have any questions for Neil? Um, once in a week. Yeah. How much does it cost to make Um I've been asked this question a number of times. It's difficult to say because you can't actually quantify deferred payments to actors, actresses, uh, cast and crew. So it's a bit of a tough one. Um, is this being recorded? If the Inland Revenue are watching, it costs half a million pounds to make. <laughs> you switch that off. It probably costs... <laughs> so, uh, that gives an idea. The base we shot at, who's seen a, a programme called Dog Borstal? Anyone? Yeah. yeah? Give an idea, they wanted to charge £5,000 a day to uh, rent that base. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and for those guys out there who are filmmakers, if you don't have a budget, tell that to people. Say you have no money, be honest with them. You'd be surprised at the goodwill from people if you actually straight them and say, look, that's what I can pay, that's what I can afford. And there's a great deal of generosity out there to help aspiring filmmakers. So give your best shot. Don't be put off by the establishment. Another question, Daniel? Did you find it hard to innovate in what is quite a saturated genre? Um, you'll see a couple of things in Stag Night of the Dead which you've never seen before in the zombie genre. That's right, isn't it, right? Not your head. <laughs> <laughs> you see, these two things in the film, I, I, I'm pretty sure, although someone here will have much greater knowledge than me than zombies, that you've never seen before in a zombie movie. <coughs> That's going to be worth the cost of... But to find out, you'll have to buy it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's another good point. We're... Um, Without having a finished copy, it's hard to get distribution. We've got a couple of people interested in it, but uh, I think that um, you'll probably find it on Amazon. Um, but we hope you get a deal so you can walk into Blockbusters, wherever, and actually get a copy. And if you can have a whip around for the petrol home for us, that'd be good. <laughs> Another question over there. Why did you choose zombies? Um... Why do I choose zombies? Because I've enjoyed the zombie genre over the years. I wanted to add a different element to the film. And because I thought I'd get the most fun entertainment out of that film, that genre. Um, there's, there's saturation of, sort of teenage, 
high school type films. And we came up with a generally original idea for this, for part of the film, and said, right, let's do on this, and fleshed out a script and went from there. Yeah? How exactly do you go about advertising for zombies then? Mm-hmm. Well, if I'd known you all by, you know, then, I could have invited you all down. But um, we put out um, uh, <coughs> casting calls on places like Talent Circle, UK Screen, and then people know other people, etc. They come along and uh, we're quite serious that uh, our next film is being shot towards the back end of 2009. If you go on to Stag Night of the Dead, lodge your name and address with us. We'll try and get you in as extras for our next film. Want to come along? <laughs> You've got to sign a release form in case you get injured or killed. But, uh, <laughs> you know, we're passionate about involving people. The, uh, as I said there in the film, the spirit and uh, just the time given by people who come along. We had people turn up with their own makeup, their own wardrobe. They'd come here every day dressed in different sort of <coughs> costume or makeup. We had prosthetics they made. They brought along and gave us, etc. They'd sit around for 12 hours and then uh, we'd use them for five minutes. So they were fantastic, absolutely fantastic. We had days where we thought they wouldn't turn up for the next day. And there'd be an army of them at 7 o'clock. An army, you know, 30, 40. <laughs> Greek army. Greek army, yeah. <laughs> so. You're <falling> asleep now. <laughs> so, seriously, if anyone does want to get involved in your next project, yeah, go on to stagnightofthedead.com. You'll find a um, behind the zombie, I think it's called. There's a contact there. Drop us a line and we'll keep you posted about the next movie, which will be another horror, maybe horror comedy, we're not quite sure yet, we've got two or three ideas. We're delighted to have you along to see it, especially if you brought a couple of DVD. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure there then. <coughs> yes, sir? When are you going to show the film in the UK? Depends on the um, distributor deal we get. They're very funny about uh, festival entries and it being shown anywhere. They're terrified of the thought of piracy. So you'll be very careful what the distributor has to win. We were hoping to have a premiere on the 31st of October this year. And Quantum of Solace was going out, so we couldn't get anywhere. We won't premiere until about March. We're doing special effects now and some of the post um, from audio, that type of thing. So we don't think we'll be out until about uh, March, April until next year. But we're having one nip switch, which is a long way away. I know, but that's where all the extras came from. So we'll take it up to them and say thank you to them by having a Premier in Ipswich and also one probably in Leeds, <coughs> one in London as well. Which is welcome to come to. Mm-hmm. Well, so if you stay in touch, we'll make sure it goes out on our newsletter. So if you log on to leedsfilm.com, you'll be able to find more information about it there as well. <coughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.